Hello and welcome to Stop Trust Maths key skill video on subtracting whole numbers using a written method. Now this is the first of two videos on subtracting whole numbers and in this one we're not going to involve borrowing. So we've got two questions here. We want to do 58 minus 21 and we're going to use something called column subtraction. And what this means is we lay out our numbers in rows. So we've got 58 here and then we're subtracting 21. And what it means to have column subtraction is that we make sure that the digits in each column have the same place value. So we kind of align it up to this right line here. We push the numbers to the right. So we make sure that these first digits here are the units digits. The eight is the units digit in that number. The one is the units digit in 21. And then we make sure to the left of that, we're gonna have the tens digits that's in a kind of vertical line like that. Now, all we do is we work right to left and then subtract these digits. So in the units column, we're going to do this eight minus the one, which is seven. And then this next column, we do the five minus the two, which is three, and we end up with 37. Now this second one, let's do the same thing. So we arrange these numbers into rows like that. And as I said, we kind of push the numbers to the right. So imagine I've got my finger here, we push the numbers to the right. So we're gonna do four, one, two, like that, yep. And that makes sure that we've got the units digits on the right here, but you don't need to write that there. You can just leave it like this. So let's put a line under like this. And then as I said before, we just subtract it going from right to left. So we do seven minus four first, this first column, seven minus four is three. Then the next column, six minus one, we get five. Then we go to the next column, four minus two is two. And this last column, we got seven minus blank. Well, seven, we're not subtracting anything from it, so it just stays as seven. And that really is it. In the next video, we'll see harder problems where sometimes you can't do this digit minus this digit because the bottom one is bigger. And we'll see how we can work that out using a method called borrowing.